Hi, welcome to ECS Coffee. Today we are going to be covering the ECM Technico machine. We have it partnered here with the Baratza Encore Espresso machine and we're going to uh, give you an overview of how this beautiful machine works. Yes, I'm here absolutely. today with the lovely Rebecca and uh, we have our, our scale out to measure our shot. Um, we're gonna load it into the double wall porta filter and we'll get rolling and show you how easy it is to get this set up. Yeah, absolutely. So yes, ECM Technica. This is, if you haven't watched our previous ECM review on the Classica PID machine, uh, we just recently started carrying the ECM yes. line and this is one of the units that we are carrying. We are carrying a full lineup of ECM machines, but this one, um, I, I mean, I was impressed with the Classica, but this one's pretty awesome as well. Mm -hmm. So this guy is a heat exchange boiler. So you do have one single boiler that heats up for your steam, and then you are able to brew and steam at the same time. So you will have a uh, coffee function and milk function at the same time, which is fantastic. A lot of people, when they come in looking for the machines, that's one of the questions that they ask is, can you do these things at the same, same time? time? Or what is the process for that? Yeah, I mean, I always end up just brewing them one at a time anyways. I do it it's, separate because yeah. there's a lot to it's pay a, attention to, a lot but I guess on. once you get up and rolling. Um, yeah, once you're like a super expert, then yeah, no problem. So everybody always asks about the 61 group head, and yes. I always say if you have little kids, make sure that they can't reach the counter. This is burning hot. It will burn you. Super, super hot. Yes, yeah. So there, there's a purpose for it. Um, it. It does really help enhance yes. the flavor profile. Uh, so what people will do, will just uh, leave it on. And again, if you're going to do that, just be careful mm -hmm. so that we'll really heat up your porta filter. Yeah, it definitely will, which is good for your mm -hmm. espresso extraction, but not so good for right. little tiny kid fingers. So it's just touch all the rubber stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, this machine has a, well, you have two options for water. You can either plumb this unit in and it comes with that little hose connection, mm -hmm. um, or you can use the massive three liter water reservoir that is in this machine. So this you won't go crazy. Yeah, no. Filling it up all the time. Yes which is even if you're doing Americano every day, which is what I would do, like yes. you would still not have to fill it up all the time. That'd which be is awesome. Amazing. Yeah. It does have programmable and displayed PID. Um, and then when you're pulling a shot, this will turn into your shot timer, which, which, is, which again is fantastic. Yeah. People are always like, how do I know when I have a good shot? Yes. Is that you want to you know, time your pre-infusion and your shot length and then if you just uh, have a look at your volume coming out into espresso cups, it's fantastic. Yeah, and it was a really great way for them to just utilize that space instead of just keeping it at the PID. Yeah. Like they could have just left it, but they just added that extra touch, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. um, so this machine, it came with two different porta filters. It came with a double spouted porta filter as well as a single spouted porta filter. Uh, no blind porta filter or bottomless porta filter for you, but it did come come with the single shot basket, double shot basket, which is what we're using today, and a blind basket for um, for cleaning, for your back flushing cycle, which is, is really, really great. Um, it's, it is a cleaning function that you'll have to be performing on this machine at least monthly. It depends on your usage. But usage. Yeah. Um, do you find that it would, uh, maybe it would help if every time you pull the shot that you can yeah. wipe, wipe that it down? Or, or let out a little bit of water as well. There's what? also really great group head cleaning brushes that you can grab. They're like a few, it's a couple bucks, like it's not expensive. Right. And then it helps to get rid of those buildup of coffee oils and yeah, coffee Yeah, so grinds. that will get gummy on, on your yeah. cleats. Yeah. Yeah, it can get really nasty and baked on there because it's like really hot. Like speaking from experience. Yeah, exactly. Mine at home. <laughs> it looks like that too sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do as we say, not as we, we do. do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do you want to make some coffee? I do. Yes? Super okay. Excited. Amazing. I'm in, I'm in need for one. Yes. All right. So we're just using a little scale over here. This one is from Bodum. We sell this in store. Mm -hmm. um, so what's fantastic about um, the espresso uh, grinder from Baratza, the Encore one, is that with this little cup, it allows you to dump it in. So you only put know, in the amount of I beans. It. You could either put in the amount this. of beans you need or, or check it coming out. I'm gonna tear this for yep. you. There we go. Okay, All right. good to go. I'm not sure how long that stays on for. I'll just keep pressing. <laughs> so we found, um, and it will be different for you guys at home, maybe, a little bit 
Nor. Yeah, it was about 16. We found that around the 18 mark to 19 gram mark was really, really good. Um, and of course, your grind size is going to be dependent on your grinder. Oh, a little, a little bit less. Yeah. I know it's going to be a little bit more. I know. <laughs> a little bit less. Uh, we do have our mugs preheating as well because you have a nice little heating tray up top, which is fantastic. You can dump a little bit more of a pinch. Pinch it out. 18.7. Pinch it out. How did it go back up to 19? What's happening? That's not how math works. Lift it. Back on. Just get rid of an ounce. A little bit more. Somehow. Okay. okay, okay, so about 18.5 for us. We found that was pretty good. We did just pull the shot on this machine. Uh, also, you have a hot water spout for Americano or tea drinkers, honestly, because it gets quite hot. And then steaming wand on the other side. It is an insulated steaming wand, um, so you won't necessarily burn your fingers when it's steaming when it's on, but it is good practice to just like hold the rubber bits instead. Nice. Look at that, polished. polished. <laughs> She'll give me grief if I don't polish it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What's going on here? I don't know. There you go. All right. Okay, ready? Yes. Ta-da. It's kind of different when you're working with the machine trying to stay off to the side. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit, for sure. All right. So we have our shot pressure here. So we are at like just about nine. This is going to be a very, very yummy shot. The caramelization. Of and I the can't coloring. even believe how That's easy good. this machine was to I dial in. No. The Classica was too, yeah. which I really love. You and me both. If we can mm -hmm. get a good shot out of a machine right out of the box, I don't want to use a, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do six shots. No, no, no. no. So pretty impressed okay. with this. 30. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Well, go ahead. So beautiful. Mm, this is uh, a. Here, we have the, the garbage here too. There. Yeah. It smells delicious. I think we're using Colombian for a change. Yes. <laughs> it's like the only thing that I use. All right. Here. Wipe it down. Um, did you want to use the steaming wand or would you like me to steam your milk? You do my milk. I'll do your milk. That'd be amazing. So the um, ECMs have very, very powerful steaming wands. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, it's more intimidating when you just see the steam rather than when you're actually like steaming the milk. I'm gonna grab this and wipe this down. So let's, uh, we'll just show you just how powerful this steam wand is. So I'm gonna switch. Just, yeah, switch it up. So since we're a heat exchanger, we don't have to wait for anything to heat up for our steaming, which is she great. Been doing it at the same time. You could have been, yeah, but we're not, I can't. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Super powerful. Um, and heats up the milk really, really fast too. So, so you have to have it at the right angle pretty. You have, to be, you have to be ready to go. Yeah, there's no messing around. You have to know where your uh, steaming wand is positioned in your jug on your milk. So we've said it before and I've, we do have a video of just how to steam milk as well if you wanted to check that out. You want to anchor this, the jug on the steaming wand. So spread of the jug is on the steaming wand. The tip of the steaming wand is just below the surface of your milk. You wanna make sure to get that aeration. We're gonna hear a little bit of a chirping or paper tearing sound, and that's what you want. Um, but you wanna, if you're not set up like this, if you're down here or you're like all the way in, you're gonna struggle. Um, so you wanna be ready to go right from, before you turn your steam wand on. And from what I can tell, if you turn it up, turn it down, or turn it left or right, it's all the same pressure. I, I didn't notice any pressure changes. I oh, thought, that's good. I thought maybe it was like up is more, down is whatever. Kind of so you could have a learning curve if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. but not everything seemed the same. All right. All right, ready? Yes. I'm gonna go down. It's almost it's like no effort. Yeah. You just hold it. It's so easy. Yeah, that's amazing. Like the powerful steaming wands are easier to use once you know exactly what you're looking for and listening for, mm -hmm. but they are more intimidating to start using. 
Yeah. I found that. Yeah. It's going from a less powerful <clears throat> machine, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's right here. All right. No, I was going to get a cloth. Oh, good. Good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go, Wendy. Yeah, so we, wow, look at, no fancy hearts no. or anything, no. No, it was too thin. I didn't aerate, I didn't aerate it for long enough. Um, yeah, I, that's, it's, the steam is very, it's very, very powerful, but it's, yeah, exactly like you said, so no, no effort. No effort. And um, like on my machine at home, it can take up to sometimes like 45 seconds to a minute to steam the milk to the full temperature that you want. Right. On this, it's like, it's like 20. Less powerful machine, but you know, yeah. It's great to learn. Oh, Those ones thousand are percent. To, to Absolutely. Learn on. But like everybody always says, if you, as long as you've got aeration in the milk, yeah. then it tastes good. It tastes so good. You just, yeah. you know, if you want to do fancy, then you, patterns, then you get fancy. Yeah. You get yeah. fancy if you want. And if you are a newer person to steaming milk, mm -hmm. um, and you are interested in a machine like this because you don't want to have to buy two machines. Like if you if you're like I want an espresso machine and I want to buy just one. Right. I don't want to upgrade. Then you do what we do here: soap right. and water, little trial and error, test your milk. Yes. You know, practice yeah. and everything like that, and yeah. then uh, and then you'll get the hang of it. But yeah. um, so what else can we say about this machine? Uh, so this machine is made. Um, ECM has two manufacturing facilities. Mm -hmm. They have one in Germany and one in Italy. This one is produced in Italy, at least the ones nice. that we have. Um, and it is around $3,700 Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, right. so it's, it's a very good price for the other machines that are similar to this in, within the market. So you look at like Lola Bianca. It's, you're looking at like the $4,000 mark. Right. Same with the Giotto and the Mazafiato. Same kind of relatively the same price point. So yeah, really super impressed with this machine. Um, Did you try the water on it? Let's let's get some water no, from it. I was kind of thinking, you know, when you go to other coffee shops and you even have the hot water with the tea bags, it always yeah. seems really fancy because it always yes. like frosts the tea bag. It up. does a little bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Do you want to make? Do you want? Let's make an americano then. Let's make right. another beverage and let's do an Americano. Right. It's nice and warm. I know, I know. And this machine, um, so since it's a heat exchanger, it does take a little bit longer to heat up. It takes about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but you- Smart plug. You can put it on a smart plug and you can leave it on and just let it go into eco mode. How long does, do you know how long it you can You can program it. So oh, that's okay. all programmable, I mm -hmm. think. It will t probably time yeah, you out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then it lowers the temperature down so that it's only like a five minute heat up time at that point. That's, that's really good. Yeah, which is, is a great option for people that are don't have a long like morning routine. If I had a machine like this that had the longer heat up, I would like wake up, turn it on, do my business, and then come back and make my coffee, I guess. Or that's, a smart plug. That's or what, a smart what, plug. That's what would happen to my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> No waiting, no waiting. No. So the temperature we see here too, that is for the steam boiler. And then the coffee will put out at a lower temperature, but it's not displayed. See where we're at. Oh. Okay, dump, yeah, dump some out. There we go. Per Whoa. Good job. Amazing. Now I kind of like more of like a long black, so I kind of want to put some hot water in my mug before First. I do uh, the espresso. All right. Yeah. Like I haven't had enough coffee already today. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I love that. I don't it's know why. It's so powerful. I... Is that enough? No, do, do a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. It's so... And you can get your morning facial. Yeah, exactly. Steam your just, face. Just kidding. Open up the pores. <laughs> no, it's not just an espresso machine. It's also a spa. I don't know uh, why so, I find that so entertaining. <laughs> that much power. Tamper yeah. that comes with it. Um, it's fine. You can upgrade it if you want. Yeah. But um, and we saw those upgrades. We do. ECM has all the upgrades for their machines. So you can... Um, purchase replaceable levers 
and everything for your machine, and it's the beautiful, beautiful olive wood. Oh. It's so pretty. Yeah, really gorgeous. And then you can purchase the upgraded, like, porta filter and the upgraded, um, what was it? Yeah, tamper, tamper as well. With the olive wood, so you have this beautiful, like, matching set. You can also purchase a flow control valve. So you, it's an extra add-on. I think it's around 600 bucks or so. What? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know what? No, that 600 bucks is for the olive wood knobs. And then the flow control is, is I think, around 300. Oh. And then so you can adjust your output pressure for your espresso. So if you are, you know, pouring in a langer or anything like that, you could increase or decrease your pressure. Based to, on your bean notes. Based on your bean notes and to better extract your espresso. Which is super cool. I like that they offer that because a lot of the time you'd need to, uh, like with the rockets, you need to get into the machine to like adjust that. And right. it's not an adjustment per beverage. It's like you need to, it's like adjustment overall. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's go see how this shot pours. Should be still good. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yum. So this machine, it is a little bit larger. It is. Um, yeah. So you're it looking... It is a substantial machine. It's... That's as soon as you walk up to it. Yes. Um, we do have um, a full lineup of ECM machines from... I'm the, guessing two thirds like, of the yeah. side it looks really narrow. <laughs> yes, up but to these guys. You wouldn't have to upgrade. No, this would be the last machine you would pretty much you would ever need. Oh, yeah. um, it would last forever. I mean, the construction on this is, is fantastic, and the materials used are are amazing. Nothing feels flimsy yeah. at all. Everything. Uh, I feels, didn't know how I would feel about this, but I kind of like, like it. it. It's I like it. On or off instead yep. of having to keep the knob opening and closing. Yes, uh, opening and closing. I have. I didn't think I would like it but I kind of do. I like yeah. the knobs for when if you are able to get like half pressure right to steam maybe um, like a smaller amount of milk oh, for like cortado right. or something. Doesn't change, right? Well let's see if this will give us like just a little bit. No. 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 So you do have to go full throttle. Um, so if you were making something smaller like a cortado, you would just have to be aware of, of your steaming techniques and practice. And practice. Right. Yes. Uh, I I love this machine. Yes. Um, I am very, very impressed with it. I am really liking the ECM line. I'm, I'm really, really liking having them here. They're yes. really amazing. Everything is so well thought out. Um, they're easy to use. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You yeah. don't. I don't feel intimidated at all when nope. we uh, when we first got them in. I was like, uh oh. Uh huh. And then out of the box, I was yes. like, okay, let's just fool around with Ready how many grams go. I need in and off yes. to the races. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Not, not difficult. Yeah, no. it's like a medium level of espresso difficulty, I would say, because it, you don't have any of the programmability with the shot volumes or the assisted tamping or anything. Right, so and you, the heat up time. And the heat up time, right. yeah, but it's- not it's, a thermal block, but- Once you get, once you once, break it down, yeah. it's, yeah, fantastic. It's, Loving it. Yes. All right. All well, right. thanks so much for tuning in again, guys. Um, we hope you liked our video. If you like our content and you want to stay up to date with what we're uploading, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Follow us on all of our social media channels as well. <laughs> They'll be right here. And uh, we do have a blog. If you wanted to check that out, you can find it on our website or with the link in the description down below. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Bye.